artists like Biggie Small, Mary J. Blige, Chuck Brown, Raheem Devine, Trey Songs. Yeah, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for my man, my boy, Chucky Thompson, in the building. It was just a quick, yeah. you know, just a, a bit about your relationship with Chuck Brown and how that was, and 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 what did he he meant to you oh, man. as a person and as a producer. I mean, <laughs> Chuck to me, you know, he he was like my second pops. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? My music pops. And I mean, f- from the time that I met him when I was 16 years old, when I first heard about him, I my mind was blown. So I can understand any other fan that loves Chuck because it hit me the same way. And, you know, to meet him and to understand that he was, he's just a person that, that uh, invites any young person that's trying to do anything. Like that was a part of him staying young is the youth. He stayed around young people. And he just showed me that, you know, once you get older and a lot of older people, they have this thing where they, you know, they'll disconnect from the youth. You know what I'm saying? They'll feel like the youth is doing one thing and they should be doing this. And it's like, listen, I know at one point you was turned up. You know what I'm saying? So at some point you have to say, you know what? Let me let the next come in. Let me not be the hater or or just that. It's a word that I use called yold. <laughs> you know, that <laughs> fake young or fake old person that won't just allow, you know what I'm saying, allow the youth to, to have a chance to, to, to start their own thing. But he was big on that, you know. So, I mean, that was one of the things that, that I could vibe with him on is that he he would listen and understand, you know, what's next and what's new. And he was all for it. Right. You know, but he was still his age. He was still whatever age he was, 74 years old. I mean, he always stayed just humble, you know. One time, we actually shot a video, um, the block party video, right. we shot in my neighborhood. And he was in the neighborhood. I mean, this, this guy was, was <laughs> passing People out $100 crazy, dollar bills. Yeah. Like, passing out $100 bills. Yeah. To the point he come to me and say, Chuck, you got to change for 100 because I can't keep passing all these. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he would do stuff like that.